the only way you can rid yourself of an old habit, of a bad habit, of a, of a habit that's not serving you is to replace it with a good one. Being lazy forces you to live in a structured environment that develops habits and that ultimately develops disciplines that will ultimately lead to your success. So as you think about the habits of your life, I'd like for you to just take a second and think about what are the bad habits that I've created? What are some of those things that I do on a daily basis, on a weekly basis that aren't serving me? And instead of just thinking with the framework of, well, I'm going to stop doing that. I'd like for you to rewrap that framework with, I'm going to replace that thing with something else. A lot of what they talk about in that book of uh, Atomic Habits is building your habits um, strategically. And so, you know, combining them with a habit that you already have making that habit enjoyable, like rewarding yourself when you um, complete uh, what you're supposed to be doing. And I think you need to start breaking down the process of what you do and figuring out ways to reward yourself based on the effort and based on the activities, rather than just waiting for the reward of like a paycheck or a bonus or a commission. So I think you can build in structure in your life to make it to where it is a system that feeds you, but also feeds the right activity, which will lead to the end results that you want. Um, luckily, I was in a situation where the system I got plugged into had that. Um, but I think it's more important for those of you that don't feel like you have that to realize that you can create it yourself and it doesn't have to be some company wide or team wide deal that you can create the, these systems for yourself. And then once you have done that, becoming a slave to that new habit becoming a slave to those new things that you have put in place on purpose, with purpose, that are ultimately gonna get you to where you wanna go. I think that's what it's all about, is making it work for you. Any type of structure, any type of accountability, any type of plan that you're gonna put in place, it's making that plan fit your life. It's making that plan fit what's possible within the realm of all things that you have going on. A lot of this comes down to self-awareness and being able to identify those moments in your day um, where there's a fork in the road, right? And where you could choose to do something that would ultimately you know, propel you in the right direction or you could choose not to do something um, and choosing to do it anyway, like when you don't feel like it, do it anyways. When you are feeling lazy, do it anyways. When you're tired, you know, all that stuff. Um, that do it anyway mentality, if you can just identify a few times in your day uh, where normally, like the normal me, uh, may have done this, I'm gonna do this today. And by doing that just once a day, twice a day, the momentum that that will create within your business and just within yourself personally is something that is unstoppable and something that will um, that will build ex uh, extremely fast and it's it's palpable. So let's just play this out. Let's let's make an example here real quick off the top of my head. So if I have a bad habit of scrolling through Instagram when I lay in bed at night when I should be sleeping then for me to just tell myself that I'm just going to stop doing that, that's, that's good. That's all fine and well. But what if I were to replace that habit with something else and started doing that nightly and on a daily basis so that I replaced it with a habit that would serve me? So what if instead of getting into bed, pulling up my phone to scroll through Instagram, what if I pulled out a book and read for 10 minutes before I went to sleep? So I want you to guys to take a really hard look at some of those habits that you formed over time that just simply aren't serving you. And then look at what can I replace those habits with that will serve me.